Okay, I'm going to show you how to compare fractions by renaming um, fractions to have common denominators and then comparing them. Um, so, uh, here we have two fractions that have different denominators. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a common, common denominator for both of them and then rename them into equivalent fractions that have the same denominator before I compare them. So, um, the way you can do that to find the common denominator, you do something what I call peanuts, where you're going to find the multiples of 3 and 12. So I'm going to start with the smaller number in case I run into the larger number. Um, so I'm going to go 3, uh, 6, 9, 12, and I do happen to run into 12. So 12 is also a multiple, so you want to put that down. And we call it peanuts because when I make a match, I circle them and it looks like a peanut. All right, so this, uh, when I when I have uh, the number that I found is there, this is called the least common multiple. I'm going to use that as my new denominator for both of these fractions. So um, I'm going to put twelfths, and I'm going to rename this fraction. Which I'm going to find an equivalent fraction that has twelfths as a denominator. So in order to do that, I have to multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same number. So I have to ask myself, what did I do to this 3 to get 12? Well, I multiplied it by 4. So whatever I do to the denominator, I also have to do to the numerator. Because um, as you can see, this is like 2 thirds times 1, and anything times 1 is the same thing. So. Um, when I multiply 2 times 4, I get 8. That's going to be my new numerator. So 8 twelfths equals 2 thirds. Um, now here, you notice that um, I started with twelfths, and I still have twelfths. So I don't need to change this fraction. This just remains 7. And now I can compare these two. And I can see now that I have equal um, denominators, I know that I, I'm dealing with the same size pieces, uh, the same size fractional parts. So now I just have to count which count which one has more parts, and 8 is larger than 7, so I know that 8 twelfths is larger than 7 twelfths. If 8, large, if eight twelfths is larger than 7 twelfths, then 2 thirds is larger than 7 twelfths, because 2 thirds equals 8 twelfths.